Exploring adverbs of place. Enhance your English. Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on mastering the fundamentals of English grammar. Today we're focusing on a special kind of adverb, the adverbs of place. This topic might seem a bit tricky at first, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you'll have a firm grasp on what these adverbs are, where they're placed in a sentence, and how they can make your English more dynamic. So, what exactly are adverbs of place? These are words that tell us where something happens. They give us more information about the location or direction of the action. Some common examples include words like here, there, upstairs, downstairs, outside, inside, and many more. When you say, I live here, or I'm going upstairs, the words here and upstairs are your adverbs of place. Now, let's move on to understanding where we put these adverbs in a sentence. The placement can vary, but most commonly, you'll find adverbs of place at the end of a sentence. For instance, I'm studying upstairs. Or, she's waiting for you outside. But remember, English language is flexible, so sometimes these adverbs can be placed at the beginning of a sentence to emphasize the location. Like, outside, the weather is beautiful. Or, here, the rules are strict. Every rule has its exceptions, and English grammar is no different. Occasionally, you might find adverbs of place in the middle of a sentence. This is less common but can happen when we want to make the location really stand out. For example, they are, right here, in this very room. Just a tip before we move to our conclusion. Using a variety of sentence structures and positions for your adverbs of place can make your English sound more natural and engaging. So, don't be afraid to experiment once you're comfortable with the basics. And that brings us to the end of our discussion on adverbs of place. We hope you found this video helpful in understanding these important elements of English grammar. Keep practicing, keep exploring, and remember, the more you use these adverbs in your daily English, the more natural they'll feel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next video, where we continue unraveling the secrets of English grammar. Happy learning!